Wine Perry episode on Helmet Wine and Liquors YouTube channel. I'm Tim. I'm here to share some of our pairings that uh, we enjoy for food and wine. This episode is particularly themed at Tailgate Food. It is football season, and we are excited here in Buffalo. I'm sure you are excited wherever you are as well, because who doesn't love football season? So first up, we are going to pair our Dr. Constantine Frank dry Riesling with some buffalo wings. Buffalo wings are a favorite tailgate food. I'm sure not just here in Buffalo, but anywhere you are watching football. Um, that spicy, greasy uh, uh, texture of flavors of those wings goes really well with a Riesling. Uh, the, the citrus, the acidity kind of helps cleanse your palate, wash it off, cool your mouth down a little bit, and get you ready for that next bite. Uh, Rieslings in general go great with spicy food because of that balance of acidity and spice. So give that a try with your next chicken wing. Um, dry Riesling from Dr. Frank. Moving on, we have our big smooth Zinfandel that we are going to pair with some pulled pork. Uh, Zinfandels in general go great with big barbecue flavors that smoke. Uh, the texture, the, the grease, the oils, uh, the Zinfandels are big, jammy red wines with a nice spice layer, a little bit of vanilla. Uh, those flavors just kind of meld together, go really well. Club pork and big smooth Zin is our go-to for this tailgate season. Uh, moving on to chips and guac. What better with chips and guac than a little Chardonnay. So the rich buttery nature of butter Chardonnay will go really well with that salty chip and that creamy texture of the avocado, the guacamole, uh, kind of balances each other out, washes each other down and kind of goes very, very well together. Um, especially that salty hint from the chip and that buttery richness from the Chardonnay. Definitely worth a shot at your next tailgate party or football watching party. Here in Buffalo, uh, we like to use a product called Loganberry for a lot of flavorings. Uh, if you've seen our video on spirits and uh, liquors and food pairings uh, for football season, we have a couple Loganberry themed products in there. This is a wine made right in Buffalo, New York. Uh, it's a Concord grape wine with Loganberry infusion. It is sweet, very sweet. People love it. Um, goes really, really well with original pizza logs, which are also a Buffalo product. They're little wrapped up pizzas in a, in a log that looks like a, a fried spring roll. And it's, they are delicious. That kind of uh, cheesy red tomato sauce gooeyness together with the crispy layer of the pizza log, wash it down with a little sweet Loganberry infused wine. It's a great combination for those that enjoy the sweet wines. Um, very good pairing together. And for those of us in Buffalo, it's a completely local combination. Next, not so local, we're gonna jump over to Italy for a Vermentino. Uh, this is uh, Padere Don Cataldo. I'm probably butchering that. Feel free to correct my Italian pronunciation in the comments. But Vermentino is a nice Italian grape. Uh, it's a little bit hardier than a Pinot Grigio. So if you're a Pinot Grigio fan, you want to try something a little bit different, a little bit more flavor, a little bit more weight to it. P uh, Vermentino is a great option. And we're going to pair this with chips, potato chips, just classic potato chips with a French onion dip. Uh, kind of uh, balances each other out, that crisp acidity, that nice creaminess from the dip, and a little bit of saltiness from those uh, kind of plain potato chips, adds a bunch of different layers together, which results in a great combination. Last up, we are going to go with a little bubbly, uh, whether you want to save this for the end of your party, or just start out with it, it doesn't matter. Fregene Cordon Negro is a cava from Spain. For those of you that are not familiar, uh, Cava is a sparkling wine from Spain. Kind of like a Champagne is from a certain region of France. Prosecco is from a certain area in Italy. Cava 
is that equivalent from Spain. These are also very good. Uh, this is a brute, very dry, and it goes great with hot dogs, particularly in Buffalo, our Salins hot dogs. That greasy, you know, fatty texture of the hot dog washed down with the bubble, crisp, bubbly uh, nature of the sparkling wine cleanses your palate, gets you ready for that next bite. Um, awesome combination. Hopefully you have those uh, right near the end of the game as your team is winning, so you can also pop a little toast and celebrate. Those are our combinations for uh, the fall season, for tailgate season, wine and foods. Really hope you enjoyed it. Love to hear what you guys are drinking and eating out there for fall. Please let us know in the comments below, and maybe we'll try them out on a future video. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.